Uh, Coach, let's talk about the Saints a little bit. There's been so much extracurricular things. I want to talk to you about this matchup in particular. The Bears haven't won in the Big Easy since 2005. Do you know how long ago that was? Uh, yes, a long time ago. It was so long ago, Coach. Do you know what you were doing then? 2005, I was at I was at the University of Pittsburgh. There yes. you are on the sidelines. That's right. That went, is a went, photo taken from 2005. Look at you. Went back to my alma mater, and uh, yes, it uh, that was uh, it was it was great. A lot of a lot of a lot of great memories here as a player going to school, and then as a coach, so the, it was all good. The gray hair was starting to come in a little bit, yeah. a little salt and pepper. Okay, enough of that. Okay, no, 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 let's Handsome move fella on. Let's you move are. on. Let's move all on. All right, so, <laughs> Coach, in overall, overarching in this matchup, the Bears have lost seven straight to the Saints overall. This Saints defense, man, they've played pretty well this season. How do you see this team matching up against the Bears? They are. They're, I think they're a more complete football team than what the Chargers were. Just watching them on tape, watching their strengths. Uh, you mentioned the defense you can start there you know they're a top 10 stopping the run defense so that's going to be a real challenge uh, where they have struggled some and they're kind of in the middle of the pack is defending the pass so if you can, if we if the Bears can get a little running game going like they did against Vegas uh, that will obviously make life a lot easier for your quarterback, you run the ball, now you got chances to throw it with the play action passes. They, with Cam Jordan, their big defensive end at the Saints, you don't want to get in a third down and long because of the penalties, a la la, like we saw last week. Yeah. That gives your quarterback no chance. And then on the other side, Ruthie, uh, Derek Carr, I'm telling you, this offense is explosive. I mean, uh, Shahid, their receiver, yeah. uh, this guy's like first in the league in, in big plays. We, we saw the stat. I mean, he 40-yard passes, 50-yard passes, and then – their, their most reliable guy is Michael Thomas. So they got Michael Thomas, and then they got the guy from Ohio State, Alave, who's a, who's a first-round draft pick. So they've got a lot of talent at the skill positions. And Derek Carr, their quarterback who came to the Saints from, from Las Vegas, he has thrown for over 300 yards three weeks in a row. Actually threw for 500 last week in their, in their win. So uh, their passing game on offense is their strength. And I didn't even mention their, their Swiss Army knife, Alvin Kamara, their running back. He's an excellent runner, and he is dangerous coming out of the backfield catching it. So when I said complete team, that's what we're, that's what we're facing this week when we get down there. We had a little bit of fun, you know, scouting for some possible future Bears. We have a little bit of a fun feature story. We're doing something different tonight on Football Night in Chicago. Uh, I'm just going to... Play the video and let you watch, Coach. Coach Fazio. Uh-huh. Coach Pat Fazio. Here we go. Coach, what are you looking for? Technique, physicality? What's kind of the standard you're setting today? Well, Ryan Paul set me up here, and I got a list of a checklist, okay, that I'm supposed to look close here. Confidential as far as what he told me to look for, but I am up here, and I'm going to take a close look, and there might be a prospect or two here that uh, – uh, that might be able to help someday. Good news for you and good news for your grandson. We got a camera crew out here today. You'll have lots of film to break down with him, <laughs> and we'll make sure you get a good copy of it to take home with him. I I'm gonna have. To, I'm, I've been studying my plays driving over here in the car, so I'm ready. Bring it in. Today is a special practice. Okay, very special. We're gonna run extra laps. We also have a special guest. He was an assistant coach with the Dallas Cowboys, defensive coordinator. He's won a Super Bowl, and he's won a national title as a college football coach. Here he is, former Bears head coach Dave Wanstead. As a coach, you know what I want? I want guys that are coachable. You know what it means to be coachable? It means guys and girls that pay attention. My grandson James, everybody knows James, he asked me to come up. Are you paying attention? Everybody see a Super Bowl ring before? This is Dallas Cowboys right here when we beat the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. You guys have a good practice today. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna watch here a little bit, coach, and follow you around, see what they're doing. Oh, that's a nice throw right there. Make sure you look that ball all the way in. James, you know what a you know what a corner run run back. You know what a corner route is? We got a couple quarterback you know, guys here that can probably uh, in a couple years they're gonna be playing somewhere. I like what I see. That's a nice throw. Nice throw. Nice catch.
I'm glad Coach came out. I feel like he owes me because I played receiver in college at Valparaiso University. He decided not to draft me, just like every other NFL team. So I feel like this is a little payback. Even in the NFL, the guy that causes the fumble, you know who it is? It's always the guy. Oh, you got good job. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's always the guy that you don't see. In other words, give me the ball. We saw him try to knock the ball out of your hands, but you were too quick for him. Indeed, I was. Not only did he try, but he also humiliated himself a second time. Do you think it makes James cooler that his grandpa is out here coaching you guys? Yeah, probably. Who do you model your game after? I don't really know. Like Bo Jackson. What have you learned from him today? That you always have to pay attention and that you have to be coachable. Do you think you're both of those things? Yeah. What do you love about football? Um, I'm with all my friends, and I really like to run. Are you guys going to show up these boys here today, or what? We're definitely going to show them up. One, two, three, hundred All right, Coach, what do we got here now? What's this play? What do you, which one gonna, you got? We're going to do, do the old uh, double reverse, fake the double reverse. Oh, wow. What about these girls going up against the boys? I'll tell you what. If we if we had officials here and we were playing a real game, the girls may just beat them. They might, because they are more focused. Do you have a wristband? You two go get wristbands. Hurry up! So this goes back to rule number one, pay attention. They definitely came out of the uh, locker room with a lot of energy. I don't know how much of it was directed at football, but there was a lot of energy, OK? <laughs> There's an old football rule. You, you always play how you practice. And you had a pretty good practice. So if you practice good, you'll go out there and you'll play good this weekend. I got I, I like it. I like what I saw, Coach. One, two, three, one! One, two, three, one! All right. Shout out to the boys and girls flag football teams up in Wilmette. Shout out Coach Patrick Fazio of NBC5. Really welcoming us in there with open arms. Coach, that was... That was something. He, he, I tell you what, Patrick does a great job with these kids. I mean, you know, everybody just wants their their girls and boys to participate. Yeah. But it takes a parent to take the time, set the schedules, and put in all the effort. So hats off. The yeah, kids had a lot of fun, but Patrick does a great job. And you said the best part about getting kids involved in flag football at a young age is you just want them to come back, right? You just want them to keep learning. That's what you said to me out there. Have fun. I mean, yeah. that, the key is that they leave when football's over and they want want to come back the next year. That's the most important thing, coaching at that age. Really, coaching at any age. You want your players back and excited about the next upcoming season. How about James? A oh, James, bear? you know what? I, I, where do I get him? Where do I get him? He, he's heard me tell his big brother a thousand times, protect the ball and punching it out. He was so, ready for oh, it. Oh, he was definitely ready for it. He's, that's not the first time he's heard that, yeah. So much fun. Coach Ron said, thanks for including me in that. That was a lot of fun. And, of course, thanks to Coach Patrick Fazio, all those boys and girls, all their parents for letting us come out there. Coach, we got Bears Saints on Sunday. I will see you on Sunday for the football after looking, show. Looking thanks. forward to it. Thanks for joining me.